Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well and that the better the weather gets, the better you feel about life. Our story today is about a character called Gisbert. What a great name. He's a giraffe. To begin with, his life is good. It looks like it can only get better, but it doesn't. It gets tough, and I mean tough with a capital T. Let's see what happens. Our story today is called, What in the World is Wrong with Gisbert? Gisbert was a tall young giraffe. He was tall enough to do everything a giraffe might want to do. He watched TV. He played with his friends. My life is very good, he thought, as he closed his eyes for a nap in the trees. But then one day something changed. On his way to kindergarten on Monday, he heard two hyenas whispering. Look at his brown spots. They laughed and exclaimed. They are all over him. That looks funny. Suddenly, Gisbert felt something strange happen. He was shrinking a whole two inches. No one else could see it, but he could. In music class on Tuesday, he was learning a new marching song on the trumpet. He had some trouble with the song and messed up a few of the notes. All the others dropped their instruments and covered their ears. Oh boy, that sounds awful, the hippo said. Gisbert felt it clearly. He was shrinking again, a whole six inches. No one else could see it, but he could. Are you all right? His parents asked that evening. I'm fine, he said. But inside he thought, I don't know what's going on. At the playground on Wednesday, it happened again. Two giggling ostriches raced past him and shouted, Move along, beanpole! Gisbert felt it clearly. He was shrinking again, a whole ten inches. No one else could see it but he could. That night he stood in front of the mirror. The shrinking seemed to be unstoppable. His parents noticed that he wasn't feeling well. What has upset you? they asked, worried. I'm fine, he said, but inside he thought, I don't know what's going on. In gymnastics class on Thursday, he tried to hang from the climbing pole for the first time in his life. It took all his courage to try. He stood on the gym mat, concentrating, when he heard the apes whisper. He'd better not try. Giraffes can't do that. He'll fall. Gisbert felt it clearly. He was shrinking again. A foot this time. No one else could see it, but he could. Is there something we can help you with? His parents asked him that evening. I'm fine, he said, but inside he thought, I don't know what's going on. At the swimming pool on Friday, things didn't go any better. Gisbert really wanted to try the new slide, but everything went wrong. He was so tall, he got stuck on one of the curves. Watch out, block it! The lion shouted. Everyone laughed. It was quite some time before somebody could rescue him. Gisbert felt it clearly. He was shrinking again. Two whole feet. No one else could see it, but he could. Are you still not feeling better, Gisbert? asked his parents that evening. He could tell they were concerned. I'm fine, he said. But inside he thought, I don't know what's going on. On the playground on Saturday, Gisbert wanted to join his friends in the playhouse. I've shrunk so much this week, he thought, so I won't take up much space. But the others said, you don't fit in here, Gisbert. Gisbert felt it clearly. He was shrinking again. Two more feet. No one else could see it, but he could. 
We are very worried about you, Gisbert, said his parents that evening. Gisbert crept under the sofa. I'm fine, he said, but inside he thought, I don't know what's going on. On Sunday, he felt so sad and so small. Nothing seemed to be much fun to him anymore. Gisbert stayed home from school the whole next week. His mother hugged him and his father tickled him between the horns. But nothing seemed to cheer him up. Then one day, his friends left a small present on his doorstep. Come back to school, the note read. We miss you. Slowly, he started feeling better. That night, when his parents asked if he was okay, he said, Now I know what's going on. Gisbert told his parents everything that had happened. Their words made me feel like I was shrinking, he said. And the smaller I got, the worse I felt. But it's not bad to be tall or small. Mere cats are small, so are mice and ants. But I felt so weak and sad. Sometimes people say things that hurt you, even if they don't mean to, his mother said. It's okay to tell them that their words made you sad. And you can always talk to us, Gisbert, his father added. When they were done talking, Gisbert felt much better. The very next day, Gisbert went to the playground again. Hey, look, there's Gisbert, the hippo shouted. It's great to have you back, the lion roared. The others nodded. Join us in the plague house, they said. It's going to rain soon. The ape reached out for Gisbert's hand and he joined his friends. We all missed you, his friend said. Our orchestra sounds boring without you, the hippo said. We can't cross the river without you, the lion added. We're sorry that our words made you sad, Gisbert, they all said. We didn't mean to do that. By the way, the hyena added, you look really cute with those spots. Gisbert looked at his friends. All of a sudden, he felt something happening. It started in his feet and spread all over him. A cosy, warm feeling, as if the sun was shining inside of him. Nobody suspected that something was about to happen. Not even Gisbert. But then he burst through the roof. Everybody laughed and laughed and laughed. Gisbert was tall again. He had grown a whole six feet in half a second, and everyone could see. Poor Gisbert. He had a really hard time for a while, didn't he? But do you know what I liked? He kept going until he understood why he felt small and sad. And I liked the way his mum and dad always asked him how he was doing and how they always supported him. And I liked the way his friends worked out that what they were doing was hurting Gisbert's feelings and his confidence. And I liked the way they reached out to try to put things right. You know, the Bible gives us great advice about how we should live and get along with others. We should be loving, joyful, peaceful, kind, helpful, loyal and in control of ourselves. And please, please, please always remember this. You are really important to God and God wants you to have a really good life with your family and with your friends. Okay, get ready for our song and I'll say bye for now.